Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is just a quick video to talk about glenoid version. So this is the glenoid articular surface, and we can see that it is angled posteriorly. We call this retroversion. And you can have a neutral version, which would be if it is 90 degrees, if the angle between the scapula and the glenoid is 90 degrees, that's neutral version. Anything plus or minus 7 degrees is with normal limits, but if it's more than 7 degrees, like this one, which is 15 degrees, then that is called a retroversion. Antiversion would be if it's this direction, neutral version, again, more than 7 degrees this way, is glenoid retroversion. When they're retroverted like this, the humeral head can sublux posteriorly. They have posterior shoulder joint instability. They can have tears of the labrum posteriorly. And this patient, just, we found this incidentally, they had some other significant findings here of a rotator cuff tear and some other things. But uh, just a simple case of retroversion of the glenoid.